welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, it is gonna be a home update and you already know what that means. There's gonna be updates happening all over the house. You guys, I swear, as soon as we get one spot organized and styled and there's home decor and new furniture, I changed my mind <laughs> or I'll see something online. I'm like, no, I need to have that. That'll fit perfect in this space. So there's a lot of moments like that, but a lot of things are also coming into the mail. We're switching things up. You know the drill if you are new make sure you subscribe because these home updates are pretty lit Like they're pretty lit if I do say so myself So if you are obsessed with home decor if you want to see how we update our house see another haul in here as well Then please just keep on watching. Okay, you guys so something came in the mail and I am so excited I don't think I've been this excited in a very long time This is actually something that I have been wanting and searching high and low for for I want to say two months at this point and I finally have them they finally arrived and you guys I'm just so giddy my heart is just full of joy right now are you ready to see the two newest pieces in our home decor oh you guys the frames are here I have the two last frames if you're new you're probably looking like okay what's the big deal there are two frames like what I don't I don't get it I'm lost let me just show you what we've been dealing with for the past like two months okay so if you remember this is what our breakfast nook has been looking like for so long this honestly has been a long time coming basically I have been looking for these frames for so long one of you all sent me a gift card to home goods I purchased these frames which was so so sweet you did not have to do that I did a DIY with this art I painted the art that's inside the frames and I could not find two more to complete the gallery wall and then one of you all found them in your home goods and mailed them to me which was beyond sweet to even think about me and consider buying these for me was just amazing so yeah you guys like I'm so excited that I have these two frames thank you so much I didn't ask permission to say her name but girl you know who you are Thank you so much for sending me my two missing frames. I cannot wait. We're about to do this right now. Like, I can't wait another second. We're doing this right now. We're gonna put the art pieces in, hang them up, and I'm just thrilled. This seriously is so sentimental to me. So let's finally put the last two frames up on the wall. All right, now it's finally time to fill out this gallery wall. Thank you so much to whoever got us these two frames. Let's get it. Sisu. It was not Sisu. You okay? <laughs> okay. gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I cannot contain myself right now. I absolutely love the way that this looks in the breakfast snug. Ignore this over here, it's messy, but honestly, this wall right here is complete. Thank you so much to my girls who had a part in making this come to life. I love it. I love the art inside too, if I must say. I'm pretty proud of myself on how the art turned out and the frames, just everything looks so good. And thank you to Rob for hanging this up. You're like, welcome. this is just awesome right here. I am so happy we have our frames. The hunt is over, the search is over. And I mean, I consider this a win. This is epic, I'm obsessed. Okay, you guys, so this escalated quickly. Rob and I are actually redoing our second closet in our master bedroom, this one right over here. It was a whole hot mess. We're transforming it as we speak. However, the final result of the closet makeover transformation is actually live on the Extra Space Storage YouTube channel. This is my first time creating content for a separate YouTube channel, a different YouTube channel. So I would love it if you all went over there, give that video a thumbs up, go watch the transformation, because I mean, I currently, me, doesn't even know what it looks like but I just have full faith in Rob and I and in our skills so I know it's gonna turn out good extra space storage has a website with a ton of blog posts all about how to utilize the space that you have in your home how to organize your home if you're working in a small space they have tons of different tips and tricks extra space storage is definitely a household name so I trust them when it comes to storage because they have thousands of storage units all across America and based on their blog post we have come up with so many different
different ideas that we're gonna implement and use in our closet. I will have it all linked down below. Thank you to Extra Space Storage for sponsoring today's video and collaborating with me to create awesome content and a dream closet. So yeah, you guys, we're gonna get back to it. I'm really, really excited to transform our closet. You all know it's gonna be good. We've got our Ikea stuff all out. This is kind of like the, I was gonna say the calm before the storm, but y'all, this kind of looks like the storm right now. So hopefully we get to the calm soon. Like I said, I will have everything linked in the description box. And thank you so much to Extra Space Storage for sponsoring today's video, collaborating with me. You guys, this is really, really exciting. It would mean the world to me if you went over there, show their channel some support, show the video some support, leave a comment on that video, letting them know that you're coming from my channel. And yeah, let's continue on with the vlog. Okay, you guys, so, oh my gosh, that rug tape, I cannot. <laughs> Let me just let me just move up here. So you might have seen in the background of those clips earlier that there's something different about this living room. Usually when I have my camera facing downwards, I'm showing you something new, something that came in the mail. However, this time I'm gonna show you something that left us, something that is in the mail, but headed back to the stove. Our chairs are gone. <laughs> Our chairs are gone. It looks like they literally vanished. Restoration hardware came back, they did a U-turn, and, well, not really a U-turn, but you know what I mean. They came back, they took the chairs back, I put in a return, and I honestly thank you guys. One of you all left a comment about how you think it might be the chairs, and that's why I didn't like the living room space. There was something about this space that just was not it. So we returned the chairs, and I'm ordering new chairs. Well, y'all already know. I ordered them already, but they're back ordered, so it's gonna be a while. But we're getting new chairs, something that's a little bit more, it just has a different shape. It's still white, because like I'm crazy so it's still good <laughs> still white but it's just a different shape and I really think I'm gonna like this better I'm excited because it it's not so matchy matchy and I think I'm really gonna like this shape better as well so look out for that make sure you subscribe because we're getting new furniture we're getting new chairs and honestly even looking at it like this I just like it so much better without the chair so yeah thank you guys for helping your girl out I cannot wait for those chairs to come in also sticking with the living room um I'm actually going to be replacing this art piece. I found one online that I like a lot better and I think I'm gonna put this one someplace else because I still really do like it. And not only that, you guys, like I, I don't wanna say too much, but I have plans in the future for future content. So I do wanna keep some home decor. So a lot of the pieces, maybe I switch out. Uh, they don't work in my space, but my space, <laughs> shout out to my space, but they're gonna work uh, in future projects that I work going hint hint so I am probably going to keep this just so I could use it in the future but I'm gonna replace uh, this with something else I'm also getting two ottomans to go underneath here that should be in the mail soon so that's kind of a little living room update I also ordered new pillows I ordered pillows for the two chairs that we're getting so this area is going to look quite different in the upcoming weeks but I am just so so excited okay guys so Rob took the babies shout out to Rob like giving me a break he took the babies to get Chipotle. You all know that's my love language. And I wanted to update you really quickly on our butler's pantry. So I have not heard back from them as far as the cabinets. You remember in the last video, I showed you that our cabinets up here in the butler's pantry are a different color than the actual cabinet. Well, the, the shelves, like the inside of it is like this wooden color, which still looks nice, but I really wanted it to be the same color as the cabinets just so that it matches the ones in our kitchen. So I have yet to hear back from them on that. However, I did go and I should have filmed while I was there. I went to a countertop like warehouse and you guys, I've never been to something like that. But basically, if you can kind of get a visual, there were so many different, I want to say hundreds, hundreds of different countertops just kind of like stacked up, like standing straight up, just rows and rows of countertops. It was so cool. It was just like basically like an outside abandoned, almost like parking lot. It was all gravel and like tons of countertops everywhere. Yeah, I got to see our countertop.
top and just pick like what corner I wanted them to cut so that we would have the same countertops in, oh my God, the, not the lorries, not the lorry season. <laughs> so that we would have the same countertops in the kitchen as in the butler's pantry. And so I picked that out and now I'm just trying to get in contact with the people to do the backsplash. We obviously want it to be the exact same as the kitchen. So we're in contact with them. Our backsplash is just glass. So, I mean, it shouldn't be that difficult, but we'll see. I just wanted to keep you updated. I'm like literally holding my arm up. I just wanted to keep you updated on what's going on as far as the butler's pantry. I need to get a wine fridge. Maybe we can shop for that later today because I do want to do a shop with me. But yeah, you guys, we are making progress. This room right here, I get questions on this room so often. Honestly, it's like, I'm not gonna say every video, but like every other home update, I'm getting questions about this room. And I just wanna show you all and give you an update if you're ready to see the man cave, if you wanna call it that. So this is the man cave. This is what the man cave is looking like. This is the man cave update that I've been getting questions on a ton. And you guys, I just, we need to talk about this. We need to talk because this is, this is, this looks crazy this I should honestly not even be showing this but you know what like I'm just keeping it real so let's let's have a talk about the man cave okay so this is so weird usually I'm filming with like an all-white background and super girly but anyway I just want to come in here and update you really quickly on the man cave here's the thing this is Rob's room this is Rob's room and it's a hard balance because I am filming these home updates with everything that we're doing in the house and we're changing things but this is his his room. So basically, I really want to get my hands in this space. I really want to do the most. Like, I want to get creative and I want to make it like this really cool man cave. Speaking of Rob, he just texted me. I want to make it this really cool man cave and a place for Rob and just like celebrate Rob and like do the most for him. But he wants to do his room and I totally understand and I want to respect that. And his thought process is this he wants to enjoy this room. Room. He wants to come in here and be able to play his video games, like just like hang out, like, you know, like do man cave things, I guess. So right now where we are like in our lives is Rob's working all day out of the house. Like he's back in his office now. Whereas before when we started filming these videos, like he was home. So it was easy for him to just, okay, you have um, a break really quickly. Can you hang this picture? You have a moment right here. Can you help me paint? Like whatever it is, it was so much easier when he was home because he was available. But now that he's working like from eight to five, basically, it's hard to get things done. So when he comes home, there are projects that need to get done and I feel really bad about that. But at the same time, he's like, no, let's just get it done. Like I want the house to look awesome too. And he does enjoy it. Like once he's in the swing of it, it's like, it's fine. But he wants to be able to be done doing home things so that when he comes home from work, after we eat dinner, maybe the kids are asleep, he can come in here and chill but where we are right now in our life we're hands-on with the kids we put them down then I have to do home updates then I have to work and I need his help to be able to work because it involves home things that I can't just do by myself so it really is a team effort and we're trying to like build this business and work and put out great content for you all but at the same time Rob wants to just do this on his own on his free time and just enjoy it and enjoy the space he doesn't want it to really be content like he he doesn't mind me feeling filming like maybe the journey of like decorating it and when he's done and the things that he picks out but it's not going to be the same type of home update room update that I usually film because this is his space and I know most of you all understand that you totally get it he just wants to do his room his way without the pressure of content if that makes sense so I would love to like y'all over here saying you should do this for Rob you should do this like I would love to I would love more than anything I do basically the whole house Else. but I have to respect Rob and he doesn't really want that when he has free time when the majority of the stuff with the house is done and he can take his time and enjoy his room the man cave is not being used at all I'm gonna be honest like it's well it is getting used it's getting used with like junk like there's just stuff in here like whenever we need to put something somewhere we put it in this room but I promise you eventually Rob's room will get done when Rob wants it to get done because this is his room I can't take control of it so we'll 
we'll see. When we get there, we get there. That is a man cave update. I hope this answered some of your questions and yeah, let's move on y'all. Okay you guys, we are in Argy's room now and if you wanna see Argy's, uh, I guess some updates in Argy's room I'm really excited about. Argy has a rug. I absolutely love this rug. I think it looks so cool. Argy's lights, we still need to switch out. But this is Argy's new rug. I absolutely love it. I think it looks really, really cool. Again, super youthful and playful. I really like this. I will link this down below, but I feel like it really completed this part of the room. These sconces, you guys, like I'm not even gonna lie, they, they, they're giving me a hard time. The way, this is a mood. Look at that sconce over there. That sconce is a mood. Like the way it's just dangling in defeat is like how I feel nine times out of the 10. So I, I need to figure something out with the sconces. I'm not obsessed with it. I wanna be obsessed with it. I don't know, I don't know. This is kind of what happens when you go the cheap route. So let that be a lesson to anyone else. Like I said in the last video, I wanna do some board and batten like on this wall, I think. I'm still kind of debating what I wanna do if I wanna just leave it like clean and just airy. I'm not sure, but I feel like the board and batten would really like complete this space it would make the sconces feel more like grounded on the wall right now they're just they're earrings they're just dangling like earrings so I just want to make it make sense so that'll probably be it as far as Argy's room and I really like how this has come along we also added I'm not sure if in the last video I showed you like his playful pillows we added on there and then we got this uh, blanket in the mail from Lovery you all know like Lovery is like my favorite uh, store online to get toys for your little ones. We're obsessed with their play kits. I'll link them down below. They honestly have the best toys. So they actually came out with blankets and little quilts that are reversible. And I think this one is just so, so cute. RG loves it. He loves like talking about the little animals. The last time I was in here, I showed you how I was organizing this space and I had all these little like plastic things out. Um, if you know me, know me, then you knew that wasn't gonna last. I had to get rid of that. I was like, that's too much stuff out. Even this is like a lot of stuff out for me personally. I just get overwhelmed with clutter. So I don't even know if I'm gonna keep like the toothpaste things out, but it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> For the average person, this is fine. But for me, in my crazy mind, I love negative space. That's all I can say. I, I need to do a better job, but I just had to clear this off. And you know, like if you get like anxious about stuff like that too, you're like, no, just throw it in the drawer, throw it in the drawer, close it and ignore it. I would love to get little um, compartment, little dividers to put in there, but that's just what we're dealing with right now. So yeah, I just put everything back in the drawer because I just, I couldn't handle that. Also in here, in our water closet where our toilet is, I want to get a cabinet. I'm gonna have the same cabinet people who install these cabinets install a cabinet above the toilet so we have extra storage space. So I just thought I would mention that and kind of fill you all in, that that's definitely something that we are going to be adding in the future, just so we have like even more space. So that cabinet is really gonna come in handy. 